this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change animation timing in PowerPoint. Now I'm using Office 365 desktop PowerPoint. So I'm not using the web app, I'm using the desktop PowerPoint. They give you a lot more options, so if you don't have it, I suggest getting it. It's worth it, especially if you do PowerPoints a lot, it's, it's worth the purchase. So um, before we go any further with this, um, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the like button for the video. It really helps our channel out. All right, now how do we do this? Now the first thing we wanna do is open our PowerPoint. So I'm gonna open up the PowerPoint program. So I'm gonna go down here, we're gonna click the PowerPoint program. It's down here somewhere, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna open this program up. Okay, now I just recently worked on a PowerPoint, so it's right here, but if you don't see yours on the recently viewed one, you can go to the side here on the left and hit open and search your computer for it, or you can do a you can start a new one altogether. But I'm gonna go with the one I was just working on. And now that we're in it, okay. So hello friends, make sure to like this video and subscribe. So what we're gonna do here is I have an animation on the hello friends. So you click on, so you basically, if you have to change the timing or the duration of an animation you have set up, click on the actual wording box where the animation is or the image with the animation. So we're gonna click on the wording box and then we wanna go to the top and you're gonna look for animations link. Now that's right next to transitions. So once you find that, click animations. Okay, now that it's thinking about it, there we go. Okay, I have a fly in animation on this, you can change it to whatever you want, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the timing. If you go to the far right, you're gonna see timing. The timing is here, so you can, when it starts, the animation timing, when should animations play? Animations can start after a mouse click, at the same time as the previous animation, or after the previous animation, which is the way I'm, I'm gonna have it with the previous, so. There's no previous because it's the number one one. So the duration is the one I want to look at. Um, specify the length of an animation. How long does the animation take? And I'm going to make that like two seconds. Okay, there we go. And then the delay. Delay is play the animation after a certain number of seconds. So it doesn't start right when the slide shows up. So if the slides show up, you want the animation not to come up yet. You want to wait you can um, change the delay time. So I'm gonna change mine to one second, or let's 125, that's fine. So that's how that's set up. So now if you wanna preview what we just did, so we have that all done, and we wanna see how it looks, you can go to the far left, and you're gonna see the preview star, and this little arrow down here, you're gonna click it, say play animation on the slide. Click that, and then it's gonna go preview. I like just clicking the preview, so we're gonna click that, and see watch and there it comes in and voila that changed the timing on it so if i wanted to make it quicker i'm going to change it to like one second so watch this this will give you a difference watch this and then see how much faster it came because of the duration of the animation was faster so that's how you change the timing on your animation your powerpoint now if you wanted one of the images to do something a little different uh, i'm going to say it fades in so that's kind of fun so i clicked on that image and now if I go over here, I want to change it to after my first animation, I want it to start. So I'm going to change that to there. And then I want it to be about a second and a half to make it appear. Now I want to delay it by maybe, you know, a quarter of a second, I guess, maybe a half a second. And there you go. Now what's going to happen is once we preview it, let's go back to preview. Watch that comes in that fades in. So that's how you mess, so you'll have to mess with it a little bit to get it the way you exactly want, but that's how you do it. Now, if you want to reverse the order of these, if you have like a whole bunch of animations, this is kind of nice. You can click on one of them and you can say, I want to move it to earlier. So now it's going to be before. So let's look at preview again. See that? So that's how easy it is to change the animation timing in a PowerPoint presentation. It's fun. Get in there, mess with it. Trust me, it's. It, I have a lot of fun with animations in PowerPoint. But check it out. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.